As the confetti fell, the champions rose for the third straight year. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back into Greer Today News, coming to you from down the Bonsa Course Wellness Arena Court, where the USC Gamecocks made history in the Southeastern Conference, becoming just the second team in the SEC to go three years in a row, winning the conference championships. I can't even put that into words. It, it means a lot. Just from the day that I committed to South Carolina, I knew it was going to be something special. But just to go, just the way that everything's turning out, it really does mean a lot. And the fact that I'm kind of home, it, it means uh, it just I can't even put into words how amazing this feeling. It really is. Keela Davis took the lead for the Gamecocks in scoring tonight, racking up 23 points in the hoop, and kept up her game, keeping the balls outside of the hoop when shot by MSU, recovering five defensive rebounds. I was just made sure I was ready to go back in and make an impact. So um, glad you know that turned into an eight-point swing, and, and we could uh, kind of get the momentum shifted our way. Unlike previous games, the Gamecocks and Bulldogs kept it a close one. At the half, the Gamecocks only led by just three compared to their nearly 20-point lead at the half over Georgia. Then for the first time in the tournament, at the end of the third, the Gamecocks were down by five points, trailing Mississippi State 45-40. to But the crowd barked louder than any Bulldog could. In the final 10 minutes, South Carolina scored 19 points over MSU, being held to just four. It was a great atmosphere. Um, we beat a, a tremendous basketball team in Mississippi State Bulldogs. And I just, I thought, you know, it could have gone either way. Um, but I just you know, felt like our, our players, when it was time to step up, um, stepped up in a big way to, you know, to get us this victory. And it's um, in, a, in an incredible atmosphere. I mean, it just feels great, especially being a freshman. It was a huge stage. It just, it just, just feels great. It was exciting. I mean, we was waiting for the moment since we got here on Wednesday. So to actually see it. It was actually, it was amazing. We went into the locker room of the champions to talk to the Gamecocks about what they were feeling after winning their third straight title. Some did have a lot to say and were showing a lot of excitement with the victory. <laughs> while others were at a loss of words. How, how does it feel? I mean, it feels great. I mean, to feel, we got a three-peat. <laughs> now it's my privilege to say congratulations on the When I first met SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey over the summer, he told me he could not wait to experience a Greenville-based Southeastern Conference tournament. Now that it's all over, we caught up after the award ceremony to talk about his experience, and he says there could be a big chance that the tournament comes back. Me and the Commissioner have developed a pretty good friendship over the last few months, I should say. And in fact, the very pen I wrote the script tonight to give you the news with came from the Commissioner, which I'll probably have to mail back since I did say I was borrowing it. We had a good week in Greenville. We appreciate the hospitality and uh, the city has continued to grow and it's been great to be a part of that. Well, I think we had a great atmosphere throughout the week, uh, even for the championship game, certainly for the championship game. And we had high expectations and people of Greenville and our basketball fans met those expectations. With the tournament hosted just 100 miles from the campus of South Carolina, the stands were flocked by Garnet and Black fans of all ages. How much do you guys like the Gamecocks? So much! So much? I like it this much. I like it this much. Coming from all areas around the state, some experiencing Greenville for the first time. My first time here in Greenville since I was a little kid. The city is excellent. I mean, the nightlife, everything about the city I love. And others, just diehard fans following their team. I've been to a couple games in Columbia when they play Ohio State. So, yeah, the atmosphere, like I said, they just brought it from Columbia, brought it here. They're really loyal and they really help us out. They're kind of that sixth man out there. And just to hear them roaring in our ears ringing, it really does kind of get your blood flowing and just kind of getting you into the rhythm of defense, so uh, we give it all to them. Over 7,000 spectators packed these stands tonight here in the Bon Secours Wellness Arena, making the SEC Championship feel a lot like a home game at the Colonial Life Arena. So talking to Coach Daly afterwards, she wants to thank all of Gamecock Nation for their support and says that the fans cheering built up a huge momentum for her team. We have uh, the best fans in the country. Um, they come out and support us at home and on the road. Um, and to put it in a place in which um, they can drive up and, and come, and they and they showed out. I mean, they created an atmosphere um, like they do in our 
<clears throat> in our home arena, Colonial Life Arena. I mean, it looks good on TV. It looks, you know, I think uh, Mississippi State wouldn't mind playing in this kind of environment versus a, an empty gym. And I think it's just, you know, overall, I think it was a great experience um, by by us, by us all. It may be dark and quiet now, but in this hallway walked thousands of Black and Garnet fans watching their team make history. This happened in a city that is much more closer to the purple and orange of South Carolina. But tonight, all the success and the spotlight belong to the Gamecocks. When I first attended the press conference for this tournament coming to Greenville back over the summer, I knew it was going to be special. And now standing here before you, having experienced it, special is an understatement. As the governor said that day, like she said on many days, it's a great day in South Carolina. And a great day in South Carolina is also an understatement. For the third year in a row, the USC Gamecocks in their home state are the SEC Women's Basketball Champions. I want to thank everybody who followed me throughout social media and on GreerToday.com for the last few days. And I would also like to thank my editor, Jim Fair, for giving me, a young journalist, this experience and the opportunity to bring you the news around Greer, South Carolina of this big tournament. I'm Alex Love reporting for Greer Today News and from all of us here at GreerToday.com and around the community, thank you for watching.